Hi guys, so I wanted to review my Elegoo Neptune 4 today. Uh, a really nice printer that I purchased myself on Amazon. It's not a sponsored post. And I wanted to just review some of the features that I've been loving about this printer. Uh, so I'll just start off with the assembly. It did take about 30 minutes to assemble. Uh, this frame here does need to be um, attached. You need to attach the spool and the filament detector. And then you also need to attach this nice touch screen that comes with the printer. So that took me all about 30 minutes. Then you're going to want to load up your filament. It is nice that this printer comes with a filament detector. If you're doing big prints or maybe you only have a small spool and you're going to run out of filament, then it will detect that. It will pause the print. You can put more filament on, add another spool and keep going with your print without having to restart, which is a nice feature. Uh, then it has the auto leveling feature, which is another really good feature for beginners. Leveling is such an important part of 3D printing. If you don't have a good level on your printer, then your prints are not gonna turn out well. You're gonna get like globbing, you're gonna get uneven layers, it's not gonna look good. And so uh, you definitely need good leveling on your 3D printer and the Elegoo printer I did find made it pretty easy. The instructions are on the touch screen on how to level the printer. It will auto level for you. And then all you'll have to do is just calibrate the Z offset, which is the distance of the printer nozzle to the printer bed by using a sheet of paper and checking for tension there. If you're looking on advice on how to do that, check out my video on how to use this printer. This has a decent sized build plate. Um, there are models that have a bigger size build plate, um, but I haven't found too many designs that I haven't been able to uh, build using this printer. I love that the build plate is this flexible build plate. It makes it so much easier to pop your prints off of the um, build plate than a glass build plate. So definitely recommend when you're looking for a 3D printer, if you're a beginner, to go for a uh, printer that has a flexible um, print bed. Uh, the big thing about the Elegoo Neptune 4 printers is that it uses the Clipper firmware, which allows you to print really fast. So the Clipper firmware allows you to go up to speeds of 500 millimeters per second and still get a really nice print quality. So this collapsing uh, lightsaber, which on my other printer would take about 16 hours, only took six hours on this printer. And the quality is still really good. Still really happy with how this turned out. Uh, print in place model. So I've just been really happy with the speed of this printer. I'm able to print several complex models per day. And since I'm doing a lot of videos and uh, work for my YouTube channel, it's really helpful for me to be able to have a printer that prints fast. Uh, it does use a USB port in order to upload the files, which I also found nice compared to some other printers that have the micro SD port. So I like the USB feature. In terms of price point, um, obviously the price is subject to change, but I uh, did find that this printer was more expensive than the Elegoo Neptune 3, for example. And so uh, the main difference, of course, is that speed in the printer. You're going to get a much faster print with this printer using the Clipper firmware than with one of the older versions of this printer. So it's only up to you uh, to decide whether or not having the faster print is worth the extra money. For me, I really find it is. Uh, but for others, it might not make that much of a difference. And I think that the print quality is pretty similar. You can check out my comparison review as well. Uh, this printer does have an upgraded fan, um, which is also a really nice feature to ensure that you have proper cooling of your print. So overall, really happy with the Elegoo Neptune 4. Just like my other Elegoo printers, I really like that this printer gives you a great print quality out of the box. I haven't had to make any adjustments to the settings. Um, you know, I haven't really had any issues with this printer at all. Um, so it's been really nice for beginners um, or, you know, beginner intermediate 3D printer users to just have something that's easily, um, that you're easily able to set up and get going with right away. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to learn more about 3D printing, coding, and 3D pens.